Okay, this is a chorus, my brand new song, a gift from heaven. It's just a chorus here, okay? <laughs> composing on this and um, it's just such a blessing to have this here and um, just such a wonderful blessing that that I have I'm a home and family that, that are so accommodating and doesn't mind me <laughs> filling up the living room with with all this musical stuff so I can just write over there and play here and record here so that I can get it into my head. Basically, I'm doing songs for the street and um, not so much as an album, but I'm trying to put together a catalogue of, of uh, my own work and also reworking some of, reimagining some of the old hymns. Um, and so that if I need to take it to the streets on my own, I can, busking this summer for Jesus and then also I've got one or two musician friends who might well join me as I did last year and if they do then of course we can bring their work in which will bring a far wider um, idea of you know a broader sense of musicianship which would be great um, take my and let it be Consecrate it to me. Take my moments in my days. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. Okay, that's an example of a really old hymn. Uh, the advantage of that is out of copyright um, and thanks to Nathan in St. Louis who's um, one of the collaborators I'm one of the collaborators on his backing vocals he's got a whole bunch of backing vocalists around the world I think mostly in America but and he's the one who's inspired me to take some of these old hymns and to uh, put new music to it so in a way, it really is that hymns are ancient and modern. The idea is that uh, folks can be introduced to the love of Jesus in an approachable way, in a friendly way, in a fun way. Um, yeah, I know that salvation is a massively serious matter, but that's internalized for those of us that are followers of Christ. But the average, you know, Joe or Jane walking down the street from a shopping mall or something, they just want to hear something nice to lift them. And some of those people are going to be drawn to to want to, to know and to see more. And when that happens, and we give them a little leaflet, actually, I'll just show you very quickly. Um, still here. Don't go away. This is a leaflet my son loves to give out. In fact, he's just coming now. And so this is what we do on the streets. Look, here, come on, son. Daddy. Yeah, here he is. Here's the leaflet I'm giver. Looking, I'm, I can't I'm see him. At, I'm looking after Mommy upstairs. Yeah, where are you? Let's I'm have looking, a look at you. I'm looking after Mommy upstairs and even doing makeup for her. Wow, that's great, Luke. Thank you so, so much. Get oh, wow. Thank you so much for helping Mommy. Mommy's going to be needing the intercessor 
intercessions. Those become the bidding prayers in church this morning in a couple hours time, three hours time. So thank you everyone for watching this. And see you on the street soon. I hope you pray for us please. Get back on my here so you can hear what I'm saying. Yeah, just keep keep our home and family in prayer, please. That's been a year of uh, challenges, challenges, checkups, etc. And uh, it's a blessing. And I think, in some ways, it's proven to be one of my more creative years, one of the most creative years. And especially if we can take it, take it to the streets, share the love of Jesus. Um, and we're just going to trust God for that, okay? So thanks for watching. God bless you. This is Johnny Ruffle here in Birmingham, England, talking to my friend in Wales last night about taking uh, the Somerset back to Wales for uh, an open-air concert. When I say open-air concert, I mean just literally in the marketplace, in Port Talbot, in my stake, wherever and being right where people need the salvation of Jesus Christ, um, where people's needs can be met, where we can pray with people and listen to people's needs and, 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 and welcome them and show them the love of Jesus Christ. And that's what it's all about. It's not about preaching, preaching, preaching. It's about loving, loving, loving. It's about embracing with mercy. There's a lot of wounded people out there. There's a lot of hurting people who don't know the left hand from the right. You can see that from all the different political posts and everything, but the gospel of Jesus is way beyond politics. It's way beyond uh, weight versus Roe and all the other stuff. It's way higher than the Supreme Court of the United States or the 10 Downing Street here in the United Kingdom. It's about our hearts, the condition of our heart, it's about having a yielded heart to our Creator God and knowing that Jesus took our pain and our sorrow on the cross um, when he died and that all we have to do is come in loving acceptance of the love of God. Um, I'll give you the words for the, the other half of the chorus. When I call, I already said that, sing and be holy. Sing and be holy, sing and be holy, rejoice in his name, that's true chorus. So that's it, sing and be holy, and rejoice in his name. Amen. Thanks so much for watching, God bless you, Johnny Ruffle, Sunday the 25th of June, 2022, post-COVID, slinging it out there, and moving on, by God's grace, empowered by his Holy Spirit. If you haven't called upon God, give you the Holy Spirit. You're a believer in Jesus and you're trusting in him. Just say now, Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, I yield my life and my heart, my future, in the name of Jesus. And I ask you to fill me afresh. Fill me anew with the glory of God's kingdom, God the Father. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen.